So, hey guys, uh, my name is Brock. Um, I'm a contributor to Script Wizard, uh, which is an online script ID. Uh, and that's a, that's a tap, that's, I mean, it's an online script ID for Liquid and Bitcoin. You can write, compile, design custom scripts, uh, and you can play around with opcodes and, you know, it's a nice tapper tool as well. Um, and in this workshop, I'll be aiming to, uh, build a taproot output, uh, and funding it and spending from it. Um, and so basically to get started with the script wizard ID, um, it's a Bitcoin ID, right? Um, I'm pretty sure many of you are familiar with. Sure. Looks good. Cool. So by the way, you don't need any programming skill, uh, for this workshop. All you need is a browser. Uh, ideally, a Bitcoin testnet node and a, and a, and a node app. <laughs> so I'll be building a transaction, a, a, a tap tree, uh, based on script wizard ID and I'll fund it using my own testnet node. Then I'll build a transaction manually, uh, by hand and broadcast it. Um, hopefully this will give you guys some color, uh, you know, on building tapered applications. Um, so script wizard ID, um, is a Bitcoin ID. On the left side, on the left top side, you basically place your witness elements. On the left bottom side, uh, you write your tap script. Um, but first you have to make sure that you're on Bitcoin taproot. We, it's, we support liquid and Bitcoin for segwit and taproot. Uh, so make, make sure you hit Bitcoin taproot. Um, so basically you, you, you write your tap script on the left bottom, uh, and you place your witness elements that feed your tap script. <laughs> And then the stack evaluation should end with one or non-zero, right? So that you can spend from it. Um, so uh, I'll be writing a tap script. I mean, the previous one. Basically, uh, on the on the right side, you can see the stack execution line by line. So what I did was I did I placed one and two, uh, and then basically when you can push that out using this angle bracket, uh, pushing one and two, and then. And then I did op adds, basically, which pops, op add, op add pops to top two elements and add them together and push the result back onto stack. But actually, I'm not able to see, maybe I should zoom out. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, here we go. Let me zoom in again. So as you guys can see, op adds added one and two, uh, resulted one, uh, resulted three, and then I pushed the number three on the stack. Uh, three and I did op equal to make sure they're equal. Um, this is a very basic script for sure. Um, I'll not be using. I'll, I'll, I'll not. I'll be. I'll not be writing a script with checksig or any Schnorr stuff, just to just to keep it simple. Um, so when you're done done with your script, you can uh, go to compile your script button right here, which compiles your script to bytecode. Uh, and in fact, you can copy this. Uh, and go to your Bitcoin node and use the code script command um, to decompile back to ASM. <laughs> Let's see. This one? Sure. So you can use again the compile script uh, to decompile to ASM. Um, and basically, then you can. Uh, introduce a keypad spent uh, if there is a use case in your script, which most of which, which most of the time you need the keypad spent. Uh, basically, uh, you can introduce a keypad spent uh, by hitting the custom and placing your own inner key. Um, but there are some use cases in which you don't need a, a keypad spent, mm -hmm. so you should ideally place a inner key that is unspendable, um, and. Taproot, Taproot version is currently C1, C0. Um, in the features, potentially we could have a, a bunch of additional opcodes in Bitcoin and a feature software under a new Taproot version, but it's default uh, C0. And you see uh, the tweak key, the, 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 the final Taproot result here. Uh, basically, the final result is a 33 byte tweak key. Uh, and when you strip out this first 30 bits, uh, the, the remaining is your witness program. Uh, and you can see the batch 32 m addresses here, um, so that you can copy and fund this. This is a taproot address which commits to a script path and a key path, which is unspendable. So you you can only go for the script path. Um, 
But as you guys can see, this is a single leaf construction. So there is only one possible leaf that you can spend from. Uh, for the hackathon, um, I'm thinking of building a tap tree, a, a must tree with four leaves. Uh, and to do that, uh, script user doesn't have a built-in like uh, must functionality. In order to do that, we need to use an external tool right here called must tool. So when you hit this, um, you can introduce a key path and you can add as many leaves as you want. And you can, uh, you can see the tablet result and show individual leaves control blocks. Um, so let me open four separate tabs. Uh, I want to uh, create a tablet output based on four leaves. So I need to open four separate tabs for that. So this is my first script, very simple, of add three equal, uh, which is also my first leaf, right? Uh, as for the second leaf, let's keep it four equal. And for this, I need to put two and two. <laughs> um, as for the third script, third leaf, let's place in five. And in order to evaluate this true, three, two. And as for the fourth leaf, uh, let's keep it of add six equal. And three, three, or two, four, or one, five, yeah, works. So I have four possible leaves. Um, and in order to create a tap of output and mastery, I go to my first leaf and compile the script and, and, and compile to bytecode, the hex string. I copy it. I copy the hex string, go to my mask tool, uh, and basically paste the, the bytecode representation of my script, app script. And then I can add more leaves by hitting to add, add leaf button, going to the second script, the second tab, copying the script, <laughs> and then pasting in. Same for the, the third script. and the fourth one. And as for the inner key, I don't want to introduce a key path spent, so I'll just keep this. Make sure your um, Bitcoin elements. So you can hit the ta show tablet result button, and it creates a tablet output based on these four possible leaf spends. Um, um, and like I did before, you can see the script path key, tweak key, and the, the addresses. Um, so I'll be using testnet for this. So let's find this address first and spend from it. Um, so this is a tablet address, right? <laughs> that commits to four possible leaf spends and one inner key. Um, and I copy this. I go to my testnet node, um, and I find this address, 5,000 sats. And here we go. I've just funded a taproot address. Blockstream Explorer is always preferred. Um, so as you guys can see, um, the, the second output, right? The in output index one. Maybe zoom in a bit. Um, is, is, the, is our taproot address we just funded. Um, and let's spend from this address, right? Um, and in order to spend from this, we don't have, we cannot go for the key path because it's an unknown discrete logarithm. Uh, we can go for a script path and we have to pick whichever leaf you want to spend from. Um, and in this case, let's spend from the second leaf or maybe any idea. I mean, you guys can pick <laughs> second. Can I do like two of them and then still both the transactions to test them for both of them? So like, like two conflicting transactions? Yeah, well, just like so to show that both yeah, it's complicated. I mean, I mean, and sequence is max, so I will not be able to replace. But, I mean, but I mean, I can hit. I can. Yeah, sure, sure. I can do test mempool. You have oh, not in Bitcoin. You have test. I haven't used test mempool except before test. The transaction by hand and, then and then just just, and then just, the just passing the, the raw hacks. Got it. Okay, let's do it. Uh, okay then. 
Um, okay, so let's spend the, the second index and maybe then the third one. <laughs> um, and then I have a Bitcoin transaction template on Google Docs. I can share it to you guys. Basically, there is no other easy way to do this. I have to build a transaction by hand, um, um, which you guys enjoy, hopefully. Um, um, so um, basically, I founded an address, a tablet address on the second, in the, on the first index. So I, I, I copy the address, uh, sorry, the transaction ID, uh, which is big endian. Uh, I need to convert this into little endian because I'll place the odd point in here, uh, which is little endian. So in order to that, uh, we have a built-in with data tools, uh, which is a, a data manipulation tool. You can, you know, pass any arbitrary hex string and it converts, it does all the conversations. So it's like an all-in-one place uh, tool. You can see the hex LE, which is the reverse byte order. Um, and I copy the little Indian and I go to previous transaction ID and paste. Um, I mean, transaction version is two. Um, this is a fixed field. Number of inputs. Sure. Uh, this is just the sending transaction itself. Then, and then since you're not doing any check check sig operation. No. Uh, okay. Okay. You're not doing any check sig. It's simple. It's just yeah, yeah, okay. it's just anyone can spend. Um, um, yeah. Any primary school grade grad can do the math, <laughs> right? Um, so number of inputs, just one input. I just want to spend from this input, this tapered output. Um, so my word is one. <laughs> I'm spending from the second output. Um, you should definitely take base with PA class. <laughs> um, and yeah, since it is max and number of outputs, I mean, I place in a, I, I, I place a, 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 an, an output, but it doesn't matter. I just want to showcase the, the input spend. So. I place an arbitrary script puppy here. The value is output values 400, 4,000 sats. Um, because we're spending 5,000 and 1,000 goes for fees. So here goes to, here comes the witness field. So I need to place the witness fields, right? Based on my odd points, sorry, based on my uh, operands, um, and the witness script and my control block. So we have four witness elements to spend this. Uh, I mean, for the second leaf, I to spend the second leaf. I mean, actually, for all all leaves in this case. But uh, if you're going for a key path span, you you all, you only need one witness element, which is a signature. Uh, but for key path span, in this case, you need four witness elements. So this is the first leaf, the second leaf, the fourth leaf, and the, four, the <laughs> third leaf and the fourth leaf. Um, so let's go for the the second leaf. Um, so we have two witness elements, two and two, maybe make it one and three. <laughs> um, and basically um, the number of witness elements is two, well, it's four. Um, the, the first witness elements is one and the second is three. Um, this indicates the var int uh, length prefix. This is the, the length prefix that indicates the, the length of the witness element, uh, which is one byte. Um, and then comes the, the the uh, the witness script right in hex. Um, I simply copy my script, um, which is three bytes long. Um, yeah, anyway, and um, the the final witness element is control block, um, which is a a Merkle path that points to the second leaf um, proof of inclusion that. You know, uh, second leap commits to the overall tapered output. So I can hit show control block, the, the, the respective control block button on the second leap and copy this field. Um, and this is 98 bytes long, which is 61 in hex. Um, I pre filled the template. <laughs> so this is the, the final transaction, um, um, for the second leap. Um, so I need to, so I'll do test mempool spend, but uh, let's just remove the comments part. Uh, and remove the comments, and then I'll concatenate the whole thing and do test mempool spend. I can just paste the, I'll just pass the raw transaction, right? Yeah, it's just test mempool with that. Sure. And then it's basically on its way. Single close, close brackets, yeah. double yeah. close. Yeah. Sure. 
So I remove the comments and I'll copy the whole thing and I'll go to my tool, my uh, script user helper tool and place and paste the whole thing. It removes the, the you know, the, the spaces for you. Um, <laughs> so I'll copy this whole thing and my raw transaction and test mempool accept. Yeah. Uh, you have to, you have to pass an array, you know, test mempool accept, and then single quote, and then practice. Can you come in? Yeah. yeah. So you do test mempool accept, and then, uh, and then there's the wire. Oh. That's your big relay app. There's like quote. Yeah. Where's your quotes? Yeah. So that one, and then you do a bracket. What kind, of, so what, what, kind, what kind of bracket? Bracket, then? like the square bracket. Square. Yeah, and then backslash. Uh, so where's your backslash? It's yes. got a European keyboard. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a tricky yes. one. So then. Oh, backslash the, is the hard, quote, bro. Yeah, the quote here. And then inside of there, you do, you have to, in quotes, pass in the transaction. Like, like this. this. Yeah, but like, see how there's no quote there? So you do like backslash. Is this backslash or, or regular slash? Backslash. Okay, I can just type in. Ah, sorry. Yeah. This one. That one. <laughs> well, no, not that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, this one. That one. There you go. I'm right. Yeah. All right. What am I supposed to? So right there, and then backslash, and then quote. Yeah, and then quote. And then same on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Backslash and quote. There you go. All right. right. So apparently this tests is if it accepts in the mempool, but not doesn't actually broadcast it. It's sure. allowed. It's a good key pack. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a script pack, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is one possible script pass spin. And let's go for the, the third one. Uh, the third or fourth one. You guys can pick. <laughs> um, let's go for the third one. So for the third one, I need to replace the witness script. Um, which is the second to last witness element in our case. Now I need to also change the witness elements that feed my script. I can go, this is uh, one and three. One and three. No, one and what? Oh, oh actually, previously I did the, the third one, right? Let's do the, for, the, the fourth one then, three and two. Let's copy and paste, and this is three and two. Um, I also need to change the, uh, the control block field, uh, which now points to the fourth lead instead. Um, and to do that, I go to my mass tool. Um, I obtain the control block. For this, the for the fourth leaf and copy. Okay, got it. Let's see. Oh, this one I should. Yeah, got it. The fourth one. It's not the same. Right. Uh, and then I guess I'll need to. You know, oh, actually, I think it's all good, right? So let's remove the comments and um, <laughs> sorry for that, guys. Oops. Sure. <laughs> sure. That'd be a nice idea, actually, yeah. I copy the whole thing. Um, oh, and go paste and copy and, and send rogue transaction. This program has mismatched. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so here, and do 93566 on the one line. Oh, you can do it in the notepad. Sure, sure. So you do 93565, or just 93566. Which one? This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 93566. I 
you go back yeah, there, where you all play the quick one, you go to the board, 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 the board script list back, or sorry, where your task is. Yeah, uh, uh, this here. Yeah, this is task. This. Yeah, it's like just copy that link for. Right, this is 60, no, 50, no, 56 for sure. Right. 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 I mean, yeah, my script is wrong, right? It has to be 93, 56, and 78. That one's going to add up to the top. Sure. I'm just going to change this. Sure. Has to be 3 and 3. Got it. And here we go. Uh, I'm just span a tap of output. Um, and when you refresh this, you guys can see, well, not yet. Um, okay, not yet still. <laughs> um, anyway, um, basically, yeah, I've just span a tap of output based on the third leaf. Um, and, um, and hopefully, that gives you guys some idea. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> okay, so you created uh, you created a taproot transaction in your taproot transaction. So so what taproot can allow you to create uh, more arbitrary types of scripts? Like in this case, you're just adding yeah. a couple of numbers. Right? Yeah. So very simple. But you created four different scripts that yeah. add different numbers. Yeah. And so when you publish that, as long as you can add, as long as somebody can add those numbers, which is like fulfilling those scripts, sure. promise or whatever, sure. Sure. then they can spin. Yeah, it's anyone can spin, anyone can see in the mempool and you know maybe replace it. Well, though it's it's not RBF, but yeah, it's be, it'll be hard. But yeah, theoretically, yes, you can actually be on the mempool. It's anyone can spin and anyone can change the output for themselves and spin. And so the, the kind of crux of this is the most More sure. Yeah, the idea. I think it's Taproot is mostly about music and frost and you know keypad spins. Um, and you could go for you know for collaborative part. Yeah, it's always keypad spin. But you know, I could go sometimes for script pad spins if your counterparty, for instance, is not collaborative. Uh, things like that, but in terms of expressiveness, uh, tap script is the same as pre tap script, which is base pair script. Uh, we didn't have any additional uphills and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, I think, I mean, the most exciting thing about tap is it's the foundation, uh, to me, is it's the foundation for new tap leaf versions, uh, with Ops Access X. You can introduce more uphills. Um, but pretty yeah. much, yeah, sure. Yeah, so that could go on. Um, with that, Unique to that transaction, or is that just in the mass as you're getting three, four? So it would be new and every hashes four. Is that control block? Like, can I read that control block as there are four and everything here? And this is definitely for the second. Yeah, it's a Merkle path, right? Um, so you have, let me maybe do this. So you have L1, leaf two, leaf three, and leaf four. Uh, uh, and like this. So you you basically do a tap branch, uh, branch one, and branch two. Sorry? Mast hiding how many leaves? Of course. I mean, the only only leaf you're you only expose the the leaf you're spending. It all it can also show the that the level of yeah 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 because the more if you have the more actual level you have the 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 the, the bigger the control block gets yeah you can see you can predict how many leaves there are or how how many leaves, levels there are. oh actually yeah you can just Got it, got it. Yeah, you can do, you can do like uh, empty, empty leaves basically. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, basically, 
Got it. Yeah, basically you have two pep branches and you have one upper branch, um, which then goes to tap tweak and and tap tweak key and then script pep key. So if, when spending the second leaf, uh, the control block starts with uh, 30 dB plus leaf version about one byte long, and then 32 byte inner key, and then comes the the B1. Um, and that's oh, it. Oh, sorry, uh, L, L1 and B2. Yeah, I mean, one byte parity bit plus yeah. split version, the inner key. Yeah, it's, it's a Merkle path. Yeah. L1 and then B2. Um, sure. So, so in this example, like, is it, if your question was like, is the control block is identical? And I think it would be because these scripts don't have any in that, like a public key or like something like that, since they're just like synonymous with it. Well, but that, what the leaves could be the same, right? Tap leaves are different. Uh, well, so what are the scripts? Scripts are different, so it's the, the tap leaf. Okay, so I guess I thought the script was top-ass. Yeah, you have this, top yeah, top this, this, you know, this three, this push data is different in each script, right? Three, four, five, and six. Uh, that makes the tap leaves different, uh, so so that you have the. But I guess the control block, though, right? Could be like you know the commercialized tree, like the leaves were like not if I would spend. Uh... Oh, okay, yeah, I guess it depends on the leaf. The control blocks also becomes different. Like for each yeah. leaf, you you have different control block. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if if I'm spending L1, the control block is like L2 and B2, and if I'm spending L2, the control block is like. L1 concatenated with B2. If I'm spending from three, control block is L4 and B1. If it's four, it's L3 and B1. How does the control block get assembled? Like, what's the ordering yeah. order? Like, where are we looking at? Sorry, I don't think that's a question. Sure. Cool. Thanks a lot. All right. <laughs>